and she's cute and I'm loving her. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hawa Bunga. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a slight tr transformation. I had these um, butterfly locks, distress locks in my head for about a, a little bit over a month. And I just wanted to touch it up because I really like this style and I love it. And that was again a little rough. I was looking a little rough, baby. So I want to actually touch up my hair. So that's what I did in this video. FYI, I did not do my original faux locks. All I did was the touch up. I basically transformed my hair from this to this in under 45 minutes. If you want to know how to maintenance, touch up, whatever to your locks, faux locks, faux butterfly locks, distressed locks, bob, whatever you got in your head, I can help you with that. If you want to see how I did this and how you can do it too, easy. Just keep on watching. For this video, you are going to need uh, edge control or leave-in conditioner or conditioner if you want to use that. You need something to slick down the your edges and your hair and you're going to need some type of hair i had leftover i did um my hair in passion is that what it's called passion twist yeah i did my hair in passion twist a few months ago and i had a whole bunch of leftover passion twist hair which is um a water wave hair but you literally can use any hair or whatever hair texture that you I do want to let you know that i washed my hair you do not have to wash your hair if you don't want to you can just take a spray bottle with like some leave-in conditioner in there like a little bit of leave-in conditioner because you don't want buildup and you you just want to spray um the roots of your hair or you could use a dry shampoo i haven't tried that but good luck <laughs> it might might not work i don't know um so i washed it i tried not to get the ends wet which was super hard i ended up getting them wet anyways but to not get them wet i just held them up in the shower and i just let the shower like all like directly on my scalp and i took the shampoo and just massaged my scalp and did the same thing to rinse it out so i did that and i also had let this air dry for a few hours so i washed my hair this morning and it's like late in the afternoon now after you wash it or whatever I'm actually going to take some leave-in conditioner this is Cantu, Cantu um, Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. I like to use this because the less the buildup, the, the better. So I just take this and I just spray it on my scalp. Y'all, just to let you know, I'm only going to touch up the front. Um, you can do the, this to your whole head if you want. But I only plan on leaving this in for like another week or so. So I'm only going to touch up the front this then i just gently massage that into my scalp i'm using the edge fixer y'all this edge control is a fire like this edge control is what is like my favorite like it's a fire and it smells good i got the grape kind they have like different this is grape see they have different flavors so but the ones that i'm doing that i'm not doing i put it back in a bun because like I said, I'm, I'm not going to have this um, in for too long, so I'll probably do this one. So I put it out the way, and then these are all the ones that I'm going to do. Like that. And then literally take the smallest piece. And... I wrap it down to where it's almost like falling, detaching. I wrap it right there a little bit and then I wrap it back up to the top. And I do it very lightly because I don't want my edges to fall out. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then I do my little nothing. And then I take my scissors. I get close to the end like this if I'm down. I loop it around my finger like so. I take the end in between my finger and I pull it through. Kind of like to make a knot so that it don't come out. And then I pull it tight. And then you either can wrap the end, keep wrapping the end around, or you could cut it. With this one, I'm gonna bring it back up to the top so that I can tuck it. This is how we looking like. I'm going to finish all of it or all the ones that I'm going to do and then I'll be back um, to show you the final product and also to show you the last final steps okay be right back okay guys I just want to show you real quick if you um, if you're having trouble wrap, um, wrapping it just put your finger here and hold it a few wraps and then pull your finger out and you can also get the distress like bohemian butterfly look by doing this as well so you wrap it around your finger like so and then you just remove your finger like that. And then go as normal I'm going to tie the knot and I'll cut this also just make this curly or whatever like this one is but I'm too lazy to do all that, so I'm just going to cut it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I could have done more, like, back here, but I'm lazy. So, this is what we looking like. So, the only thing I'm going to do now is spray some more conditioner on my hair. Or you can use like any type of braiding spray, holding spray, anything like that. I don't have none of that stuff, so I'm just gonna use conditioner just to put some sheen in my hair, moisture, and also to get rid of the tightness because I did it a little tight. And then I take some mousse. You can use any mousse you have or whatever. I take mousse. And I can like so. And then just kinda. I'll get a towel. Okay, thank you. It's a towel over there, a green one. I don't put a lot because. Yeah. And I take my scissors. Sorry, I got these big, gigantic, freaking kitchen scissors. I don't know where my other scissors are, so this is what I have. To, if you have hair scissors, use that. Then I'm gonna go with my scissors and just cut any like random strangly hairs that looks like nappy. Cause they were curls at one point from the um, water wave hair, but now they look nappy. So I'm just gonna cut them off. And then I'm gonna tie a scarf down. Um, just for like maybe 10 minutes and then I'll be back. 
and we're back so this is the final product not too bad not too shabby see um it only took me it took me maybe about say 30 to 45 minutes to do it i feel like if you do the whole head it's probably gonna take you like an hour hour and a half to do it but for me like 30 to 45 minutes and i'm happy with the results um there's not too much tension on my head um i have a style that i really like and i can wear it for a longer instead of taking it out and having to get it redone or get another style i could just rock this for longer and she's cute and i'm loving her i hope this video was helpful for you um if you really liked this video enjoyed it or got some you know got some tea from it give me a big thumbs up um leave a comment down below if you have some i don't know bitch just leave a comment please because it helps me out a lot <laughs> If you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the ninja gang and i'll catch you all in my next video bye